Hey Clashes, it's IOTA. Finally got a headset, got it for Christmas. So I'm going to do a video, just a little small one, hopefully a small video, on getting to level 15 of Lost Realm and crests that I sell because I think they're pointless. So first of all we'll get to level 15. Of course, I haven't changed my setup from doing Mesa this morning. So, let's see how we go anyway. Basically, in my team, I just use stunners and PD. Um, the Zombies Duke procs a few times, stuns go off and keeps them stunned and keeps them, peace, keeps them easy. So, we've got another, another hero to fight, or another battle, and another altar. As you can see, I don't really worry about my altars. I'm at 235,000 blue crystals, which a lot of people might think is not really much, but I've got no intention on going over 80 inscription. Me and my heroes are strong enough as it is. I very rarely lose anything, so I don't really see the point on that. And I don't know how you guys are, but like lately, I've just been getting crap from all of these chests. I haven't gotten very rarely getting any rare crest bags. Oh, well, there you go, we've got one there. But I very rarely get anything. And silver keys, I've just got almost none. Again. I'm just going to get these 200 crystals. And bulwark crest free. Okay, wow. Thanks, IGG. Really generous. Alright, so anyway, crests that I think are useless. I'll explain why I think they're useless. Some people think I'm an idiot, but I really don't care. Now, heavy blue is good um, if you need stunners. If you're already perma stunning boss, then what's the point in having extra crests that stun? You know, it only gives you a chance to stun. It's not a guaranteed stun. And as a lot of people who use it to get a perma stun will know, it's very inconsistent unless you've got four or five or five or five. Um, so I'll show you what I've basically the descriptions because I, I can't figure out where to get the descriptions for them any other way but it's only got a 10% chance right so saving them up to me is pointless same as um, Scorch and Blade Shell I just I think they're useless anything that has a chance is useless when you could use a crest or a crest set that gives you a chance to take more damage or gives you a chance or, or gives you more damage um, and gives you more health you know so you got flame guard straight away there's no chance to do it 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 automatically deflects eight percent damage when it's a set same as stone skin it reduces damage taken there's no chance to do it, it just does it. So any crests, in my opinion, that have a chance are just pointless. And I don't really have a lot of my heroes crested up anyway. So let's go and sell some crests. The best thing about it is the amount of blue crystals you get. You get quite a lot. And it saves a lot of spots too. I've got plenty of spots, but it's not really the point. Now, the same with Deadly Strike, right? Deadly Strike does the same thing. It has a chance to do 30% or 300% more damage or whatever. Yeah, it's a rare crest, but still, to me, pointless. So, bye-bye. I mean, it's up to you. Whatever you want to keep, go for it. If you don't have many sets, you can still use these to boost your might. And you can also use them to boost your hero's HP. Um, so they can, they still have their uses. But when you've got a lot of them, it's, yeah. To me, it's just, it just seems pointless. I'd rather have the crystals. Life Drain is a chance one. But with an, if you have enough heroes with them, it can really help on the higher HPM levels. So I'm going to keep them. Sprint is awesome. If you have a high revive Ares in Arena and you've got an open lane, 
if you use a sprint two or manage to have enough to make a sprint three, you will always own. Simple as that. You will always own. War God is another great one. Um, tenacity is good as well. Life Drain. That's one you want. That's definitely one to get to collect as much as possible. So all these other crests anyway, I'm going to keep them. Self Destruct is also great to put on heroes that have really high HP and you know like Mino, um, uh, Orcspain, just them sort of heroes that are going to do a massive amount of damage. Um, okay, now I'm going to run through some expeditions as well. Um, the last video obviously didn't really go too well, but basically my strategy is just one one of each hero that I have, except for Imo, and it's probably the only time I ever use Orcsane. But as you'll see from these videos, with the inscriptions on all these heroes, they just walk through. You can just tap them and they just walk through. And that's the only drama. Sand goes off, I finally did get him. Um, when Sand goes off as well, he's only at 5 at the moment, I think, working on 6 9. Um, but it, it just bulk damage. Bulk damage. And to heaps of areas as well. Which reminds me as well, I didn't really, I didn't put him in, did I? So. Bye bye, Orcs Man. Good Sand Man. Because his pop is just awesome. By the way, I'm on iOS. shit and I don't know what I'm on about, put it in the comments. If you don't like me from the forums, put it in the comments. You know, I don't want to phase what anyone thinks without me missing on that. Well, I get 7,000 HP a day from that, 14.3k okay, from doing boss 3 and getting perma as well, doing max damage. It's just my HP jumps 50k a day easily, you know, without effort. And the amount of gems, daily gems you get as well, um, this is crazy. You know, I contemplated going effort and I don't have all the heroes, but I still want to roll these probably not going to happen for a while, but eventually I'll be doing something. See that Santa man, that's, I love him. Look at that, that's gold. And it just looks cool too. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm always stuck. People are watching it, you know, every time you upgrade uh, one dot's skill level, he gets an extra target. It's not in his description, but he does get an extra target. So keep that in mind when you're deciding on who to upgrade next. Up. 
finish these and then end this video and we'll do another video. Because as you know, sometimes it's a bit boring. Just sitting here watching someone else pawn a game. And that's, by the way, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to play myself off as being someone so awesome because I'm not as far better in this game than me. I'm just showing you how I do things. I'm not a gluter at all. But if you argue me something wrong, as a lot of people on the forums have found out, which is why I have so many haters on the forums, I will point you out. And I will prove you wrong. So if you don't know what you're talking about, don't bother arguing. And when you get caught out because you're wrong, have the decency that you're wrong. As I have a few times. But like I said, I really don't care what people think. In the next couple of videos that are coming, I'm going to be doing some roles for, or some hero roles for some people in my guild. Um, see if I have better luck than they do in getting them some heroes. I'm always here to help. If you want me to roll for you, my line ID is iyoda2.0. Um, just obviously make sure you change your password in your login before you give me your details and make sure you change it afterwards so it takes peace of mind I'm not out still I'm really out there just throw it out there and put it in the world and I'll do that for you um, obviously I'm not going to do 10 to 15 people a day video every single one of them but it's just an option out there as you can see I haven't even lost a hero that's how awesome these inscriptions are I said when you get to a high might level and you get all these extra bonuses I get 10 heroes to lay down um, at Grand Duke so at King you'll get 11 it's just crazy you know it's, it gets easier and easier the higher you get so I don't know why anyone would want to keep their might low but this is another thing that annoys me as well right this is the last base so this is level 10 on expeditions and they're all 104 you know like this is 160 hero there but it's not a lot, you know, it's not like I'm against 170 to 180 heroes. And chances are these heroes aren't even inscribed in the full time. It's maybe it should get harder. You know, they should maybe change it a little bit to make it a bit more challenging, but I suppose I'm gonna get people on the forums complaining about oh, expeditions and stuff. Have a sort. Look at that, you know, 32 seconds and it's over. Well, that's expeditions done anyway. I'm going to show you my guild. We have the best guild there is. Don't bother asking me to join another one. This is Danny, our leader. And she is she is a bomb. And this girl is a beast. You know, I mean, look at his death. Uh, look, look at this base. It's, it's unreal. You know, she's got like <laughs> a thousand Multanikas. Um, she's got like 200 of every freaking hero. And then there's Beaver as well. Beaver's awesome, he has the best luck in rolling. You know, the first day he had three Santas. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy. But he also chucks in a lot of money in the game, so... Our, um, our, our richest flags are at, at max. So 30% every time you want to raid, 30% bonus all the time. You know, max guild level, protection flag. <laughs> Who uses that? You know, it should be removed from the game. That's why that's not even bothered being leveled up. Our donations, like, I mean, look at Danny, 102,000. You know, I'm not even on the top 10 page. It's crazy. But anyway, that's our guild. That's instinct. You know, 800 shards. Well, that's, that, that description needs to change now, but it's 800 shards after Saturday's Torch War. Every Saturday, anything that's put in earlier or after that is considered as an extra. If you want to join, we have four spots left, as you can see. One of them is going to be filled one day during this week, so there'll be three spots left. So if you want to get in, hurry, because spots aren't going to last. See you guys.